if I fall asleep. Promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he... He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? Mm. In my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. 
You once tried to take charge of your envy, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Faye, you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Appreciate it. 
you have seen Sindri. Yeah. He ain't in a good place right now. But who is? I'm sorry, Lunda. I know you and Brock... Just tell me you're gonna get Odin. Tell me, whatever it takes, you're not letting that bastard walk away from this. He will not. Damn right. And if in the process you happen to tear him a bucket load of new holes in places he don't want him, I'll be rightly obliged. Hey there, I, uh, made some armor for storming Asgard and, and whatnot. I thought you could make use of it. Indeed. Big softy, you can thank me after, uh, if, uh, if we all come through the other end. I will. some angry knives. Leave some hands. Oh, this is real good for wood. Better for bone. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. I came to these lands. 
plans. To escape my past. To start a new life. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here. Nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered enough. No matter the cost. This ends today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, might as well be. A big fat smile on my face. Brock. goes after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. to do. There's still time. We have to... Oh. 
moving. At least my army is already dead. We're getting nowhere. The Ain Herriot returned from Valhalla as quickly as we killed them. No. Giant Giants made it after all. Snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Herjar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Hmm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. Dwarves are dying for this! Sin, we... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines! And I'm here to tear them down! Before you break them, we must turn them on the wall. Fine! Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants! what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? I 
Ancient guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice. Everything. What are you doing? Son, listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, son. Today, we will be better. But what can we do? See the size of that thing? Well, I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not my list before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped. And meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I Look! Did I just say? No, you can't. Shut up and fight.
take you? No, I just want... I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. <laughs> Sindri, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it... It has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. You don't owe him your death. No oh, shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Hold on, son. Hold on. 